Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Search Ram. It's time for more plane reviews, believe it or not. And yes, yes, I know, you've been hounding me, hounding me about it, and I'm starting a new save. No, I'm not. I don't need to do that. What am I thinking? So essentially what I'm doing right now is that I've had a hanger on Kerbal X for people to submit craft through, and unfortunately it didn't seem to be working a long time back, and so I kind of abandoned using it and just told everyone to email me craft, but apparently at some point it started working and people have been sending in craft to it, so I'm going through some craft off of there. And I'm just going to go through them in the order that they came in, and apparently some of them, the mod listings were not correct, because as you can see here, we have two that say they have locked or invalid parts, which means not everything worked out the way it's supposed to. Like I said, this order was just sort of randomly selected by how the site was ordering them, and this is a Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II, and it's made by Sula Su Sula Imian. Uh, you'll see his username when I link to the download, of course, and by the way, if this works out alright, which it looks like it's going to, I'm gonna start recommending you send planes to Kerbal X through that hangar, which I'll link to in the description, rather than through email, because it is honestly a lot easier for me to manage, and allows me to actually make more of these because the biggest problem I have is time. It takes a lot of time to do these, and hey, look at that. One to toggle the Volt VTOL engines. Make sure to open the VTOL thingy. F, uh, two to toggle the afterburner, and nine for flaps, which clip a bit and a tiny bit, I say it. Zero for on and off the main engine. Make sure the main engine's on wet mode in VTOL. Okay. Still whip, don't be mad at me. Or made at me. Made at me? Yeah, don't be made at me. Alright, so it said make sure the VTOL thing is open. I'm assuming it means this? I... Shape unlocked. I'm not sure what that means. It said make sure the VTOL thing is open. I'm, I'm really not sure what that's supposed to mean. What's this? Oh, it's a hidden Vulcan that's in there? I mean, okay, I guess that works. It's kind of a weird place to put that. There's several engines in here to do VTOL. Okay, I assume maybe... Some sort of rotating mechanism is on here. I'm not sure what mods this uses, but that doesn't matter because it's on Kerbal X. So when I just give you the download link, it just tells you the mods, which is awesome. And that's part of why it's so much better and easier for me to make videos using that stuff. And it is using, if not the latest version of BD, it's probably been around a while, so it wasn't the latest version. But it's, it's, it's late enough to where it had the new targeting system, so that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> wow, that thing did not like loading in. All right, so I assume this has... Infernal Robotics on it. Aha! Vital front, Vital back, and weapons bay. Unfortunately, because you did not provide instructions exactly how I'm supposed to use these, I really don't know. Oh! Ooh, fancy. Okay, so I open the front up. Alright. And I assume that I'd hit the same direction on the back to put the back down. Alright. That sounds good, and I'm going to leave the weapons bay alone for now, and let's go ahead and, let's see, space will activate the engines, oh, let's, let's not, well, let's not, no, no, not full throttle, let's just have some throttle, and I'll hit space again to uh, activate those engines in there. Oh, it says they're out of fuel, that's interesting. I think two, yeah, two switches that, one, well, they all say they're out of fuel, so... I have a feeling this is, um, about to go horribly broken. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Alright, let's just slide along there a bit. Let's go ahead and undo that, since apparently that doesn't function quite right. Alright, and let's go ahead and put the front back. Alright. I'm gonna finagle this landing gear to try and... Oh, I've, I messed that up slightly. It looks like the uh, a fairing broke off somehow in all of this. Oh, it's the fairing that was on the top of the engine on the back there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get going like this. Oh, yep. Slide right off the end there. And this should fortunately take off decently despite that. I hope. All right. Well, we are flying. And now we're landing again. Nope. We're flying. <laughs> Yeah, one one Panther engine pushing all of this. No, uh, I mean, it, even in afterburner mode, it is going to be slower. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, weapons bay. And I'm sorry for the lag. It's 199 parts, and apparently my computer can't take that. 
which sucks. Like, there's there's nothing else launched. Like, let me double check. Oh, wow. Even the map is laggy. Yeah, there's nothing else launched. I don't know why. Why so laggy? I hit the wrong button. All right, but as you can see, we have multiple, uh, whatchamacallit, hellfires in there. Oh, wow. There's like a whole bunch of them clustered up in there. That's cool. I'm going to see what kind of ordinance this thing has. And that's my phone alarm telling me that I have to go to laundry. Yeah, remember that part about how I said I don't have a lot of time these days? And I'm, I'm, I'm really being honest about that. I really don't have a lot of time. I'm going to set the ripple real low. Oh. Oh, are you not going to fire? Why are you not going to fire? Oh, that one fired. Okay. They're firing very, very slowly, but they are firing. Alright, let's try going back to this. Now will you fire? Alright, looks like it fired the four that were out there pretty easily, but I'm guessing it's afraid to fire the ones that are on the inside. Yeah. So let me try telling this to fire. <laughs> it bounces out in a horrible way, but it fires. It's a successful launch. Why is this thing rolling? Oh, I, I never actually turned on SAS. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that one just gets slammed into the side of it before being fired. These get thrown right out, so that's good. And apparently we have the Vulcan selected. So we're going to fire it a whole bunch to close the bay. Very nice. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, it is a very, very slow thing. It's very massive. It's only got that one panther, so... It's a very slow jet. Very heavy jet. But definitely a good attempt. Unfortunately, you don't have an action group set for the flares. Which is... would be useful, but oh well. So yeah. Otherwise, I think it's a pretty good design. And since I forgot to throw, throw, show the lift and mass indicator things, there they are. And I'm just going to pull off a random piece of it. Interesting. Next up, by the same guy, we have the McDonnell Douglas AV-8 B Harrier 2 Jump Jet. Which I'm guessing also uses Infernal Robotics. But I'm not sure yet. Oh, Juno ba basic jet engines pointed down, looks like. This looks somewhat familiar. No, 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 it doesn't. Never mind. I know someone sent one of these in before that I really liked, and this... interesting. That's... should the intakes really be that big? I don't think they should be. I think they should also be positioned further back, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't have a picture of it with me just right away. I do like how you've done the um, landing gear on the outside, on the outer... outer not outer wing, but it, it does look pretty good. Like it... I think your, your weapons arrangement and that kind of stuff, like I, I like the way you did that. Very cool. And the tail looks nice. I mean, overall, like, with the exception of this update, uh, uh, eh, uh, intakes, it looks really nice. Also, I very, very nearly missed it, but he said, make sure to control from the probe core, which is embedded in here somewhere, I assume. I assume it's behind the cockpit, but I don't know. His, uh, instructions didn't make it 100% clear. But, uh, the offset is so little, I don't care right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and activate this, and... What the? Okay, those are, um... Right, I'm just going to turn off the engines now because I have a feeling things are about to... Yep. Yeah. Yay for game crashes, yay for unstable games. I like when the game is unstable, I said lying. This is why I don't like using a lot of mods. Hello and welcome to a loading screen. Yeah, I'm kind of mad at myself. I'm actually having to re-record the end of this video and my voice seems to be giving out also at the same time because I fucked up and accidentally muted my mic halfway through the video. And um, that's because right now my mic is having a problem where it is not... I, I can't hear myself and I know that sounds weird, but it means I can't tell if the mic's on or not and that's how I fucked up. Yay. So this is a T-50 Pakfa replica by Suleim, Suleim, uh, that, that I can't remember his name. The same guy that made the other two craft in the beginning of this video. This one's the uh, lowest part count of the bunch, and 
those are what the indicators look like, and I'd say they're fairly accurate based on the performance since I've accidentally already flown this thing since I fucked up the recording. Shh, that didn't happen, okay? And we're gonna see if I can remember the action group to... Nope, that was chaff. Ah, the action group to activate the... Whoa, I almost crashed. Activate the afterburners was one. Awesome. Don't ask what happened to the VAB, okay? Nothing... Uh, don't ask what happened to the administration building or R&D either, okay? It has nothing to do with flying this plane in ridiculous manners at all, or other planes. Yeah, so, like I said, this, this bit of the video is being recorded after the previous part. Aw, oh, yes, beautiful. Yeah, it sparks a little. Like, um, the engines can cut a little when you're doing super maneuverable stunts. But, overall, ooh, that was a bit of a sparking. Yes, overall, this thing flies quite well. I love it. It's very maneuverable. It's very super maneuverable. I forget if I actually... F no, I did not fly it under the bridge. I almost did, or I almost flew another one under the bridge. Ah, oh, shit. That's not gonna... Go well. Surprisingly, I stayed on the top of the thing. I was not expecting that. And there's all the beautiful explosions. Ah, oh, there's some more. And, yeah. So... I actually recorded this, finished recording it, recorded another episode. I was trying to get ahead of things for once. I was trying to be responsible, and, and, the, and I fucked up with the mic, and it really sucks. But yes, this plane is pretty fun. Like, unfortunately, uh, my computer can't keep up with it very well, can't handle the frame rate terribly well, but I do like it regardless. It is definitely something fun to fly around in. All right, let's go ahead and buzz the tower way too close. Nope, that was too close. Oh shit. That was... I didn't blow up the SPH, though. That's surprising. Ooh. That's significantly less surprising. Yep. Let's try one more flight where I hopefully don't fuck it up nearly as much. But, uh, you know me. You know how that's gonna go. It's gonna go something like... This. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. And shit. Oh, never mind. Everything would have been fine if I didn't continue to... Never mind, everything's fine. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, this has weapons on board. Oh, that's flares. That's chaff. All right, let's see what this does. Oh, that, that selects things. So does that. Okay. Let's see. Does that fire? Yes, it does. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. But only two of them fire before it decides that it's too dangerous to fire another one. Alright. Oops. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Hey, look! It's one of my own flares. Sure. Oh, I spun out. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is still fine. Everything is fine. And last for this episode, by Bread Whistle, this is an A5A Vigilante, which... Damn it, I don't have the thing open anymore, but... He had this cool thing where he described exactly what it was based off of and everything, and it was... It was really nice, and I don't remember what it is. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, he made stock missiles on it, like dummy weapons, which I really like the look of. Especially this, uh, radioisotope generator slash, uh... I-beam slash communicatron, which I know I said that wrong, I don't care. Yes, it, I, I just think the missile, the fake missiles he makes are really nice, and this is stock, and you might have noticed there is amazing, amazing VIB, uh, uh, SPH rather, graphical glitches going on here, but uh, we'll go ahead and give this a little fly after showing you that. Yes, yes. Oh, yep, and the same mistake that I made last time. Yeah, he has, uh, whatchamacallit, he has the uh, uh, other things on the first action group, so you lose them right away. Takes off pretty quickly. Gets up to speed pretty darn quickly as well. And not the most maneuverable thing, but still pretty nice. Overall, I- oh god. I like that it managed to survive that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Kerbal Crash System had a hand in that. Like, a lot of things are survivable now that I use Kerbal Crash System all the time. I need to install Kerbinside. I just realized that. I, I kind of forgot about it. I, I definitely need to install that. And since the game crashed, 
I went ahead and installed it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, you're now staring at a black screen because the game has crashed several more times since I tried to record that last part. And like I said, the biggest reason I can't make these very often is time. And it's taken me far too long just to get this far. I'm also going to remove Kerbinside since adding that is what made it especially crashier. I mean, it was crashing before that, but now it's crashing a lot more.